in a karting time, I knew he was good, but I never, never would think that he's better than me. <laughs> Challenging Michael uh, for me was natural to, to beat him. But can he do it? Yes, he's done it. A brilliant move there. And Hakkinen brilliantly takes the lead. But to beat him and challenge him on a racetrack, it always was a fair fight. And I felt Michael was enjoying that. Fair fights I, I meant mainly from my side. <laughs> winning a world championship. You are looking at the world champion. It's an incredible thing. 14 points ahead of Michael Schumacher. Michael want to break a little bit the rules to get there. Villeneuve is all over him, look. He's going He's through. No. Oh, yes. No. Help. I don't think. Help goes Michael Schumacher. That didn't work. That didn't work, Michael. You hit the wrong part of him, my friend. He was definitely, I think, ready to take a penalty out of it. It's a personality thing, uh, what drives you to do things like that. Some of his moves, of course, weren't from the rule book. You know, if you would ask me that moment. He has got the slipstream, we know he's got 10 kilometers an hour extra, but Michael Schumacher very firmly closing the door. In that moment, I was seriously upset. Yeah, I did explain to him, you know, what I showed to Michael, you know, you know, this kind of maneuvers, what you do, they, they are not good racing behaviors, you know, what you do out there. I mean, he just looked at me and said, you know, this is racing. <laughs> so he was, he was definitely on a limit. We were so fast, both of us on a racetrack, that we knew that one day Michael could not win. We have seen a magnificent Hungarian Grand Prix, which is won by Michael Schumacher in the Ferrari. And one day I will win. Mika Hakkinen comes through to win in Spain. And uh, it doesn't matter what we are going to say in, in, uh, in public, we're still going to be very strong. We're always going to fight and it's not going to affect our work. It's so easy show your frustration in public to start saying something about your competitor. We didn't start this kind of game in, in the media. Michael had more knowledge, he has more termination through the team, work on details. And to push the team, if there was a problems with the car, to push the teams to find a solution. It doesn't matter what kind of car Michael will have, he, he will definitely attack. He will work around the problems and he found the solutions to get his car to be good on Sunday for the race. There is a surge of excitement and joy in the grandstand around me as Michael Schumacher stuck in fifth gear finishes in second place. If Michael would have joined me in when I was McLaren, I would say, yeah, no problem. I think it would be amazing, but how it would have worked I think the team would go a little bit, you know, my side and Michael's side. And then I, I wouldn't go anymore that way as a team. I think we would have had some problems. <laughs> what he did for the safety for Formula One, I think he did a great, great work. When Michael was driver who was pushing the car on the limit and making some errors that would cause him to have a quite a big accident. So he was always looking for improving the racetracks to be safer. Michael had a great results in his career, no doubt about it. Uh, so many world championships and four positions, fastest laps. Absolutely brilliant. But when I was racing against him, I was happy to see him in my mirrors. <laughs>